Hello everyone. Tonight I want to share with you some very important updates about the things that we have been sharing on our website in regards to events such as the appearing of this marvelous comet that has been brightening in different places in the world. It's Comet A3 and how it represents the angel that is described in Revelation 18 that it says that comes down from heaven with great power and the earth is lightened with his glory. And it has a very important message saying Babylon the Great is fallen, is fallen. So we have been publishing a lot of sermon videos on our website. And the latest ones that we have been sharing is a three-part series called The Great Orion Cycle in the 70th Jubilee. In these videos, we explain how the Orion constellation, the clock of God that we have been teaching about, is this clock of God is being used in a way that shows the history of God's people from the beginning and how God has led through all the years and how he's announcing the coming of Jesus at this time and drawing our attention to this beautiful constellation that represents Jesus with his wounds and also his ministry as a high priest in heaven. And that time for him to minister in heaven is coming to an end and he's coming back as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So this is a very solemn time. So for that occasion, we have shared an article that is called Announcing the 70th Jubilee. And there we invite you to join us for a live streaming on YouTube on Sunday night, October 13th, which is the beginning of Yom Kippur, a very solemn time when the Lord wants us to recommit our lives to Him. We will do a Lord's Supper at 7 p.m. on that evening. And so we also invite you at your locations to, to do so. And thinking about the time, as you watch the videos that we published on our channel, and I will put a link in the description, you will understand why this is the time for announcing the 70th Jubilee. Now, Jubilee is a time, it's a type that points to our ultimate deliverance from this world of sin and going into the heavenly Canaan. And that's exactly what the Lord is sharing with the world. We have shared this sign for some time now. And this sign is the signature of the Godhead, the Alpha and the Omega and the Mu of the Holy Spirit. And the Lord is sharing the important message of understanding how the prophecies of Revelation are fulfilling and how this is a time for us to have confidence in whom we have believed and look up with hope and with strength to the redemption that is drawing near. The Lord is near to us and we want to share with the world what he is revealing so that we can be strengthened at this time. So on YouTube, we will have this channel where you can join in a live meeting in the evening or well, the beginning of Yom Kippur. And this is the day when we will do a blowing of a shofar that points to the announcement of the 70th, 70th Jubilee, which will be next, next spring in March. And the Lord wants us all to be ready and to be looking and to be encouraging others at this time. And as we see news like this new comet, another comet, Comet C 2024S1, we can understand what the prophetic significance of this comet is also, and it's very important, and it's also related to Revelation 18, related to this other voice from heaven that says, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. And this is the invitation of Jesus now. As he points out what is happening in the world with the churches and with entities and powers of the world, 
He wants us to understand what is happening and to cling to the truth. So therefore we want to invite you to come to our website, whitecloudfarm.org and watch the videos that we have been publishing. There is one that is called Crowning Comets and that video we show very clearly how God has led his people through the Reformation time and even now, and how he wants to gather everyone into one fold of truth, the truth that emanates from an understanding of his heavenly signs in conjunction with his written word, his prophecies. So I would like to invite you to seek him that maketh the seven stars in Orion and turneth the shadow of death into the morning and maketh the day dark with night that calleth for the waters of the sea and poureth them out upon the face of the earth. The Lord is his name. And this is seen in the constellation of Orion as the brightest constellation in the night sky and represents Jesus. And right now, Comet K2 is going through that constellation, acting as a clock marker. And in the videos that we are sharing, we explain how many prophecies of Revelation fulfill through that. And we can also see something very important, the sign of our deliverance that we can look up with confidence and hope. So I would like to invite you to recommit your lives to the Lord at this time and join us again at this live stream on YouTube on Sunday night, October 13th. And before that, to participate of the Lord's Supper, where when you think about the sacrifice that Jesus has done on your behalf, for the remission of your sins, how he died on the cross, represented here at the Horologium constellation. Then he was baptized, the dove descending upon him. And then like the baptism means like the death, the burial. And then he rose again, victorious, went to heaven to minister as a high priest. And his wounds are still visible on his body and how he is about to finish that ministry as a high priest and come back as king of kings. So this is a time for us to live by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God, that we can have confidence in whom we have believed and that our faith cannot be shaken in, in spite of the struggles that we might face and that we may share with many the hope of salvation. Salvation is not just, oh, we get to go to heaven and live forever. Salvation is deliverance and freedom from sin, freedom from self, freedom from the mental traps that the enemy instills in each of the minds to drag people into depression and things that discourage and make one sad. But the Lord is great and his name is mighty to be praised like it says in the psalms and we want to invite you to to come and to learn with us and to have the understanding that can carry you through this time so be blessed and we hope that you join us i will put a link in the description of this video for this channel where you can join and be notified for the time when we have this special live stream